Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prayer therapy session for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're still not yet joining us, what in the world are you still waiting for? Come on, come join us. Come join us in prayer on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will leave the link um, in the descrip description box down below the title of the video. And the number will be on the screen here somewhere for you to be able to call in. I um, also want to thank all of you who joined me for our marriage and relationship boot camp prayer meeting on Friday. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I, I pray that as you're joining, your lives are being transformed. You're being healed, delivered, and set free. I don't even just pray it. I know it, <laughs> that that is the case. God bless you. So if you missed the live, you can still watch the replay after this video. And our next marriage and relationship boot camp will be next week, uh, Friday the 16th of uh, February at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live right here on uh, YouTube. So come join me, mark your calendar, set your alarms, and come join me in Jesus' name. Today I've brought you the prayer therapy session. This is a powerful prophetic prayer against the spirit of delay. James chapter 5 and verse 16 is where we're going to glean from before we go into prayer. The Bible says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. And he says in the B part, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It, I mean, it has power and produce wonderful results. That's when you are consistent in prayer, when you are fervent in prayer, when you insist and, and insist that you continue to pray, even if it's concerning one matter. And so the Amplified I Love says, therefore, confess your sins one to another, your false steps, your offenses, and pray for one another that you may be healed and restored. It says the heartfelt and persistent prayer of a righteous man, meaning a believer, is able to accomplish much when put into action and made effective by God. It is dynamic and can have tremendous power. And the session has begun. The session has begun. So on our marriage and relationship boot camp prayer meeting live on Friday, which you can still watch the replay after this, the Lord helped us without to heal from unforgiveness and so much more. So if you missed it, definitely don't want to miss the replay and so we must get to a point in the body of christ this is what i sense the holy spirit is saying where people can feel safe to admit their wrongdoing and confess their faults without being quote unquote canceled but that we are ready to pray for one another that we are ready to cover and restore one another and the bible tells us that the earnest heartfelt persistent consistent no excuse prayer of a righteous man of a believer someone who has completely given their lives to jesus without reservation is able to accomplish much when put into action and made effective by god it has to be sanctioned by God, but you have to do the persistency. You have to do the effectiveness. You have to do the fervency. Hallelujah. And it is dynamic and can have tremendous power. It is important to raise a fireful altar of prayer in every family. My God, now more than ever, if you do not have a prayer altar as, as a family, as an individual, it will be difficult for you to know the will of God for your life. It will be difficult for you to, to tap into the realm of God. It will be difficult for you to not fall into sin. It will be difficult for you to establish the dominion that God has given you in the, in, in the earth. Hallelujah. And so it is important that we 
erect a fireful altar of prayer so that we can defeat the enemy and establish our dominion in Christ. My God. And so at this point, we're going to get started praying. But if you have not watched the prophetic word video from Sunday, you need to watch it. I know it will bless your life. Oh, it will bless you. It will bless you. And so, Father, we thank you for this hour of prayer. We thank you because we have come before you and we have made up our minds that we are the ones who will be effectual in prayer. We are the ones who will be fervent in prayer. We are the ones who would have no excuse when it is prayer time. We are the ones who have erected an altar of prayer unto you and we intend to service it. We intend to bring sacrifice upon it. We ourselves being the first sacrifice, your living sacrifice, we thank you for this opportunity to pray until something happens. Oh, we, we pray until something happens. We will pray so that we do not become a prey for the enemy. We bless your name. We give you praise. Thank you for showing us out of your word the wisdom that we need even to do so. We bless your name. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. We pray and ask the forgiveness of every sin, sin that easily beset us, Father, forgive us, cleanse us, purify us, sanctify us, soul, body, and spirit. Renew a right spirit within us, O God, and fill us with your Holy Ghost afresh, and that you may renew to us the mind of Christ, that we may be transformed by the renewing of our minds, that we will have the mind of Christ. In the name of Jesus, today I pray for your people as you have led me, that the stronghold of delay in any area of your life is destroyed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of delay that has plagued you, that has caused you to fail at the edge of your breakthrough, catch fire now and be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you today that the mighty hand of the Lord crush every obstacle in your path to your greatness in the path for you to fulfill purpose, to fulfill destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Every generational altar that is still speaking against your advancement and speaking against your lifting and speaking against your promotion let them be destroyed now in the name of Jesus you who have been dealing with patterns of almost there but never there almost achieving your dreams but not quite there ah, yeah. that spirit that causes you to take one step forward and suddenly you take ten backwards ah, may the Lord judge such spirit today may the Lord destroy such powers today. May the Lord destroy such powers today and set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare over you as from today. Move forward. Go forward in the name of Jesus as from today. Experience divine speed and acceleration in the name of Jesus as from today. Everything you lay your hands upon to do prosper in the name of Jesus as from today. Everything you touch turns to gold in the the mighty name of Jesus as from today you will no longer be a candidate of delay in the name of Jesus you will no longer be a candidate of demonic delay and obstacles in the name of Jesus every hindrance on your path to destiny the Lord shatter them now the Lord shatter them now the Lord shatter them now in the name of Jesus the Bible says, who art thou, O great mountain before Zerubbabel, you shall be made plain. I decree and declare over you that every, every hindrance, every power of darkness standing in your way, every obstacle standing in your way, every demonic mountain standing in your way to your destiny. Today by the mighty hand of God, they are made plain in the name of Jesus. They are made plain in the name of Jesus. They are made plain in the name of Jesus. The Lord shattered that mountain and it becomes stepping stone for you to go to your next level. In the name of Jesus, today I pray for you. Receive the strength and the grace to defeat every obstacle and move forward in the name of Jesus that against all odds, you will 
prosper Aleko Santelimush against all odds the promises of God concerning your life will come to manifestation in the name of Jesus thank you spirit of the living God we give you praise now for heaven and sun for you are the God who answers by fire in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen and amen god bless you if this prayer therapy session has blessed you make sure you subscribe make sure you share it make sure you leave me your comment and give it a thumbs up to give it momentum on youtube so others can see it so others can pray along so others can be blessed and as many time time says you need prayer motivation come back to this video and pray and pray and pray until your joy is full and ask and ask until you receive my God and seek and seek until you 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 receive and find what you have been seeking mm, make sure you seek God first seek his kingdom first and every other thing will be added unto you yes God we thank you blessed be your holy name in Jesus name God bless you I pray that you'll be able to join us on our prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you'd like to join our fast this is a corporate fast for the month of February from the 1st to the 14th. You can join us and come join us for prayer on the prayer line. And beyond that, we're there every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed rest of your week.